this is Joshua, the tendonitis expert. The topic of this video is, what is the difference between carpal tunnel syndrome and wrist tendonitis? Interestingly enough, they have more in common than they have difference. Specifically, what's the difference between the two is, with carpal tunnel syndrome, you have numbness and tingling. That's really about the only difference. Carpal tunnel syndrome is a syndrome, which means it's a collection of symptoms. Carpal tunnel syndrome is just a label for a collection of symptoms. So, carpal tunnel syndrome doesn't really mean anything except you have certain symptoms. The mechanics, the mechanism, the factors involved in the physical ecology, they're almost identical to those involved with wrist tendonitis. Tendonitis comes in two sorts, either with damage or without damage. You either have a little bit of microscopic wear and tear, or a little bit bigger, or you have no damage at all but just irritation. So, the two things share various factors, which include muscles are too tight, connective tissue is too tight and constrictive, an inflammation process, generally there's nutritional deficiency which doesn't allow the body to work how it's supposed to. But the main thing you want to know with carpal tunnel syndrome is if you have numbness and tingling, then that comes from a few different spots. That can either come from the wrist and or the forearm, because muscles are too tight and compressive, or up at the neck. Most carpal tunnel syndrome, in my opinion, is because there's constriction here at the front of the neck. Muscles, the scalene specifically, they're tight, they compress the, the nerve that goes down the arm, and then even if you only have symptoms right here, it makes a lot of sense that if the hose is getting stepped on up here, that there's problems down at the other end. So carpal tunnel syndrome can consist of just a problem at the wrist, but if you're looking at getting surgery for carpal tunnel syndrome, where they release the tissue right here, that's great if all your symptoms are only from right there, and not from higher up the arm, not from the neck, not from nutritional deficiency, etc. But back to the topic. What's the difference between carpal tunnel syndrome and wrist tendonitis? And again, the answer is almost nothing. The difference is, do you have numbness or tingling? If you have numbness and tingling, then you need to find out where that's coming from. If you don't have numbness and tingling, then you have all the exact same factors that are involved in wrist tendonitis. You have tight muscles, you have connective tissue that's shrink wrapping, and it just doesn't allow the body to work right. So if you want to get, reverse your wrist tendonitis mechanism, you need to do the same thing that you need to do to reverse your carpal tunnel syndrome. It's a very predictable mechanism, it's totally reversible, and totally doable. So check out the webpage below. There's a lot more information on carpal tunnel syndrome, wrist tendonitis, the difference between the two, and what you can start to do about it. Good luck.